All right. Are you ready, Summer? Stella, my stomach is rumbling. <laughs> Summer! And here I thought we were going to begin today's adventures in Spirit Fair by talking about the very deep and important lesson you wanted to teach me. But your stomach rumbling is a valid complaint, so let's go ahead and have a snack before we go. How about some raspberries? Well, thank you. I was quite hungry. <laughs> All right, so why Summer is happy, let's go ahead and let's head on to the island of the mountain where we're here and oh i have the sheep with me okay we're gonna come over with our new sheep friend and return this sheep friend to the corral so there's now two sheep yay okay i didn't expect to do that but i guess we definitely wanted to handle that before working with summer but all right my friends welcome back to spirit fair where we are surrounded by sheep and summer which is a really fun place to be and talking to this new spirit who i think might become one of our companions you brought a second sheep. Oh, look at them. They'll be so happy together. Oh, they're actually acting kind of coldly. That's surprising. Well, they just have to get to know each other. I'm sure they'll be best of friends in no time. As for me, well, it was nice feeling needed. What? You want me to join your travels? Oh, no. No, no, no. I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides... I'm sure there's no room for me. For sure, this island is a little bare, but I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe? With pale tones and a Cody cottage facade? <laughs> I think we're designing something for her and our ship right now. Oh, and green window shades. My, that would be so wonderful. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. No, you go ahead. I'll be just fine here. Alice's Cottage. All right, we've got to make this. We've absolutely got to make this. Come on. Alice's Cottage? Okay, I need to figure out, like, the coziest cottage. B build a cottage for Alice. Alice seems eager to join me on my travels, but does not want to bother me. Perhaps she would accept an invitation if I built her some quarters? She described a house very passionately. All right, Summer, we're here. So let's go ahead and talk about this and then see if we can build a house for Alice. Ah. What a nice quaint place. And the view, well, it can't be beaten, can it? Yes, this will be perfect. I see a little promontory up on that cliff there. Just go ahead, I'll meet you there. How will I do it? Ha, huh, don't worry. I'm sure I'll manage to sneak my way up. <laughs> to sneak your way up, that's so funny. But all right, friends, let's go ahead. I have a feeling we'll be bringing the sheep with us. I love Alice. I can't wait to be able to make her a little bit happier and feel more content to visit with us. Can I jump onto the roof? Oh, oh, there's actually a, a secret spot on the roof as well. We made it. Yes, and we got some citrine. Oh, that was really cool. We're getting better and better at our epic moves of being able to jump around. But now that we're, oh, you know, now that we're back in the mine, I need to do a better job of searching this mine for little hidden alcoves. Oh, and while we're here, going ahead and gathering what we can in terms of the minerals that we might find. Like all of that coal, which will be extremely useful for later. Any little hidden spot there? Nope. All right, what about over here? Over here? Hmm. Every single location is now suspicious now that we have the map telling us there are even more secrets hiding. There we go, a bunch more slate. And while we're here, we're wanting to gather everything we can. Excellent, more slate. Anything there? No. What about... Nope, not there. Here? Nope. What about here? Or here? Or here? Or here? Or here? Aha! There is something up there that we need to explore. To get to the other side, but first... 
We'll gather up all of that coal. Let's see. Oh, I can actually move in two directions. Heck. Okay, let's see where this takes us again. I just really feel like we should be stumbling on a bigger secret. Will you? Okay. A bigger secret somewhere around here, but I guess not yet. Or at least I'll figure it out eventually. All right, and then hold as long as we can. There we go. All right, plenty of copper ore that should help us out. Ah, every time I just want to be able to explore a little bit more, but maybe Summer will teach us something that will help us with the exploration. So let's go. All right, up we go. Daffodil, I have no idea where you are, my dear, but I'm sure you will find your way to me soon. And right over here. Here we go. Summer and Daffodil. Ah, I haven't lost my touch, have I? I might be old, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. And beating younglings in the climbing race has always been a specialty of mine. But enough of this. Let's focus on the matter at hand. This lesson, as you might have guessed, will be a little bit special. Up to now, we focused on the proper care of plants and crops. Well now, I think it's time to concentrate on the proper care of one's mind. Sunlight and music were the tools of the former. Well, for the latter, our tool will be the act of meditating. And that, specifically, is why I brought you here. See this boulder? It hasn't been concentrated on for nothing. Powerful spiritual energies flow through the area. I know, I know, it might seem strange. Occult, even. But just humor me. Oh, Summer, you look so comfortable meditating like that. First things first, sit down next to me, just like this. All right, your turn. Okay. How? Meditation. Oh, even Daffodil's meditating. Meditation, Stella, is an affair of wholeness. Of wholeness and oneness. A lot of novices believe, wrongfully, that meditation is the pursuit of an empty mind. But the mind is not empty, Stella. It is a beast, savage and untamed. Violent and caring. Loving and destructive. Hateful, curious, scared. A ball of frayed nerves. Much like the dragon, it cannot be controlled. It must be allowed to roam free. Oh, wow. My father also lived with this tormented creature. Of a different kind, perhaps. He chose to fight it. Tried to muscle it down into submission. To mark it under the auspice of violence and mostly to silence it. He thought that nothingness was the solution. But the dragon is indomitable. The fight left my father a broken man. The dragon of rage, perhaps. Let your mind wander, Stella. Gently, like you would a scared kitten. Oh. That is a beautiful expression for next time I meditate, too. Let it smell the grass. Let it notice the wind flowing through your hair. The heat radiating from the stone behind you. The rhythmic breaking of the waves below. Let your spirit penetrate all things, not to make them yours, but to make yourself theirs. Yes. Be one and be whole, but keep being. I love this time with Stella, or Summer and Stella. So now talk to Summer at the pier. Come on. Time to go ahead and take ourselves back down to the pier and see how they're doing. And try to build Alice her house before we leave, for sure. I have a feeling she's going to help us to gather the wool from the sheep. There you are. Seems like my lesson had quite the influence. 
You were up there for hours. I just had to stretch my legs at some point. Oh, what are you saying? A vision? Of course. You're the spirit fair after all. The mystical energies of this world are bound to affect you in mysterious ways. I'm sure there are other such areas of power. If you find them, be sure to take the time to meditate. Perhaps more visions will rain down upon your mind. You know, Stella, while you were up there, I tried to do some thinking. I wanted to prepare for our next lesson. There's still so much to teach. But I couldn't think. My mind was uneasy. Like a scared kitten? For, you see, I too had a vision. A gift from the universe. It's the dragon, Stella. I felt him creeping slowly towards me. I thought I had some grand purpose to accomplish before he would swallow me whole. But now I realize the dragon hasn't crept much at all. He has kept up with me for quite a while now. And ignoring it won't do me any good. Well, let's go, shall we? Wow. Come on back to the boat, Summer. Ah, I'm gonna take out whatever is in the kitchen before I burn this whole place down. And then I think we'll go ahead and now that Dawn is actually already here, we will try to get Alice's place built. Let's plant, let's do that tea. Okay, so it can be just tea and tea. Or we could go ahead and let's try cooking the herring with some lettuce and see what happens. We don't have a lot of lettuce yet, so I want to be careful with it, but still. And alright, let's see if we can get Alice a place built while I think about what Summer has given us to kind of think about. Oak planks and iron ingots. Well, that's going to be a little tricky if I don't have enough iron ore. And I only have one iron ore, so I think we need to go about and we're going to need to start setting sail again. So that hopefully we'll be able to find the iron ore that Alice needs in order to come and join us. Alright, and it does look like we have a countryside to visit there. And if I recall, there is a mine over here, but it looks like it might be blocked by ice. And we can't pass through the ice just yet. And there is a quarry over here. So let's actually head for the quarry. I'm sort of curious to see what's going to be there. And the countryside, huh? But I want to bring Alice with us, so we'll go there next. Fingers crossed that quarry will have the iron we're looking for. And meanwhile, I mean, I have a lot to think about. I really like what Summer said. Truthfully, truthfully, my friends. I mean... Everyone tells you all the time, meditation is the best thing to do for you. And when I was younger and really desperately in need of whatever kind of help that meditation might provide, I spent a lot of time trying to clear my mind the way that everybody seemed to tell you to do. And it never helped me. I always felt even more like a failure. Like I was just doing something wrong. Or Because every time I would try to meditate, the way it sounded was that you were supposed to feel oh my what was that the way it sounded was like you were supposed to feel those big upset deep thoughts and then just move beyond them without without hesitating i thought you were supposed to like resolve the the pain of your thoughts perfectly and so going inside when i was already not in a good place did not help me when it came time to meditate what did help me, though, was when I tried something else. I read an interview, I don't even remember where, it was just an article tucked away somewhere. And in that article, in the interview, the person being interviewed said that they didn't try meditating by going inside. They actually sent their thoughts outward so that they could look around themselves. Aha, we have found a new place. The quarry has been discovered. And instead of going inside, and I, I feel like most people talk about meditating like you're supposed to go deep inside your mind and sort out your thoughts. So it's like you're supposed to confront the things that upset you. That never worked for me. It just would make me feel more upset and more confused and even more like I was helpless against the despair of a lot of challenges I was facing in my life. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and explore these mines carefully together, friends. 
But what did help me and what did make a big, big, big change in my life was that person who said instead of going inside to quote unquote sort their thoughts or release their thoughts, which made you have to think about the things that were a little difficult, like everyone seems to tell you to do. Instead, what I did was I followed his advice and thought about things outside of myself, like how beautiful the trees were and how does a tree grow? And I thought about the leaves. Oh, hello, person. I thought about like the birds overhead and getting outside of my own head by filling my head and my heart with thoughts about things that are around me. That is actually what helped me more than anything else. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of people here unexpectedly. With finally learning how to meditate in a way that that gave me real peace, real peace. So I just want to share that with you guys. Like I think meditating when you act like you're supposed to get in and kind of sort through your thoughts and make the most of your thoughts can be very suffocating and it can really make you feel like a failure if those thoughts are difficult to deal with. But meditating, oh, what's this, what's this? But meditating, if you instead think about um, the world outside of yourself, it helps you remember just how big the world is. And it helps you kind of put context for all of the emotions you might be feeling. Then it's a lot easier to sort through my thoughts when I have the context of like my anxiety over like what somebody might think about me. And then you spend some time outside of your head and you think there's a lot of people that exist. <laughs> if this one person is upset at me and I know in my heart I didn't do anything to earn that ire, then why get so frustrated about it? But if I go inside my thoughts, it becomes just me and that person and them being upset. And that doesn't help. So, go outside your thoughts, my friends. Alright, and now that I've babbled enough trying to explain that, on the run, no less, let's go ahead and talk to these people. When you don't see the sun, you can always imagine it's noon. That's what my boss says at meetings. I guess you guys all live in here? My manager is really stressed out. He told me to be quiet today. I shouldn't even be talking to you. Okay, so I guess they all work in the mines. That's unexpected. Management is coming today. I better make a good impression. I've been practicing my business face and all. Hopefully they'll notice me in all this darkness. From the mine to the boardroom, moving on up. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what's going on in these mines, but at least we're getting a lot of the iron ore we need. And it looks like there's a bunch of books and things here, so. I guess people come here? This is fascinating. We found a whole little like subculture. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of little hidden spots that we just can't quite see yet too. Hello? All right, you get it together, Gregory. This is your day. Today is all about digging. Any problems you have, you leave at the door. That's a new day. Big breath. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh. Ooh, we found all of the secret rooms! A miniature diorama and two amethysts were inside. Thanks, Gregory. I didn't expect that. And then what do we have down here? Wow, I mean, I guess I have enough iron ore to do what we need. And I guess I already found a mushroom, which is pretty awesome. I think I'm supposed to train that guy over there. I really don't feel like it. I've been really tired the past week or so. Can't sleep at all at night. Let's just hope he gets the hang of the job. Without my help. Oh my gosh. It's my first day on the job. I have no idea what I'm doing. No one is training me. The place is falling apart. Huh. I wonder, like, what can I do with this? Oh, I really want to do something. I really want to do something with that rope, but I don't think we can yet. I wonder if we're supposed to learn how to craft something that can help us there. But all right, now that we've done that little bit of exploring and we have plenty of iron ore, I'll head back to the ship and then we'll get to work on smelting that iron ore so that hopefully we can invite Alice onto our ship and then really begin to explore the high seas. So if you guys could do please leave a like, 
for Alice and all of our amazing adventures. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I hope you too find peace in whatever form it takes you outside of your thoughts from time to time.